Hi guys, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hey teacher, good evening. My 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 background is black because my energy went out whole whole afternoon. The whole afternoon you've been out of light. What do you mean? Yeah. Uh, you have had an outage. You've had an outage during the whole afternoon. There's been an outage the whole afternoon in my house. Okay, so you're on data right now or what? I use uh, my cell phone. And this is, internet. you're in Santa Ana, right? Yeah, next to mm -hmm. university, next university. Next to, the, you, you, next to the University you. of El Salvador. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Alto del Palmar. <clears throat> Yes. Okay, let's just wait a little bit for your classmates. Okay, so where were we? Yesterday, if if anybody wants to read the story, Yaneth, are you ready to read the story? Did you retell the story by yourself? Hello, Yaneth, can you hear me? Okay, no. Yanzi, are you ready to retell the story? Um, a summary. Yeah. Are we, yes. Um, my problem. No. <laughs> Someday in the in the forest, um, was um. No, some gay guys um the two um uh, I don't know yeah I don't remember forgot how I was um okay. uh -huh. um fighting no camp forest campfire campfire mm -hmm. campfire and one of of them and um tell a, a a story about uh someone to help someone to ask i don't remember ask someone or what happened no no happen happen in the forest um Many years ago, in in the forest, uh, was um, incendio. <laughs> I, mm, then, okay. Um, okay. Don't be afraid. Continue. Oh, fire. Okay. Um. And. In in the in a house, <laughs> um, was a wife of, of I don't know. Mr. There Mr. was a couple. Was... Okay. Yes. Again, lo que nos está faltando. What what are we missing? I'm sorry. What are we missing? We're missing to use there is or there was. There was. Um, so you said some guys in the forest. So the story begin begins okay begins with some guys yes. in the forest okay they set up a fire or light up yeah they light up light up 
a fire. Okay. <clears throat> and tell a story about a couple. Oh, yes, a couple. Okay, and then you said there was a fire. Okay, who wants to continue the story? Help us. Help us. Okay, let's let's practice together. Can you go to the chat? Okay, who or who wants to continue the story? Just continue retelling. So so Jancy, you need to use there is, there was. Yes. Yeah, that's all. Don't worry. Uh-huh. Okay, who continues the story? What happens after uh, there was a couple and there was a fire? What happened with the couple? Uh, they loved so much. They loved so much. Oh. Uh, they enjoyed to pick up uh, together flower in the countryside. Oh. Yeah, remember that. Okay, they, they love themselves very much and they used to pick up to grab a lot of, uh, yeah, to grab uh, or pick up uh, a lot of wild flowers. Wild flowers. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Is that true, Daniela? Oh, I don't remember that. You remember, Rosa Maria? Sorry, I don't listen. Sorry. You didn't listen to the story, okay? Karen Rodriguez. Hi. Okay. Um, what I remember about the story is that um, they love each other. That's true. I don't remember about the flowers. I know. She loves flowers, but um, uh, the story says that they love each other. And um, once uh, Ted or Theodore, it wasn't there. So from, um, from the distance, he saw some fire. And, um, and then he realized that, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, bless you. <laughs> I'm coughing. Sorry. It's oh, you're coughing, not not yeah. sleeping. Okay. <coughs> okay. Okay. So um, the house has fire, and um, she died. I don't remember her name. I don't remember her name. Dolly, some something like that. I'm I'm, I'm not sure. And he died. And um, she died. She died. Uh huh. She died inside the house. Um, he kept calling her, but of course he never answered. And um, they said that he still is calling her <gasps> and trying to find her. Oh, or no, she, he's still looking for her, right? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. <laughs> this is what I remember. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, Karen. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Okay. Take note. Now it all makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take note of that. Now it all makes sense. Okay. Um, so I was telling you, they said, they say, so they still say, they say, you can still hear him calling her they say you can still hear him calling her in the woods now what happened after they finished telling the spooky story on the campfire apparently ted uh, comes up with the flowers <laughs> <laughs> and he says my name is theodore and um uh, ted <laughs> and he gave them some flowers. And that, that was a... And they just screaming like They just crazy. screamed. They just screamed <laughs> like crazy, right? Oh my God. Yeah. 
Yeah, because <laughs> they, they but, don't but, realize. But before that, teacher, mm -hmm. Walter, yeah. Uh, history, uh, uh, Ted Kildior, Teodio, Teodori, yeah, this is the oh, name. Uh, they always uh, remember about her because always try to, he try to find her because never find and always try to find and have, have in your hands a bunch of flowers, try to find it. For such a reason in the end, one, uh, the girls look at the, the men flower in your hand. Suddenly, the, the story, uh, it's real. It's the real. Story. The story. The story, yeah. mm -hmm. story uh, became real, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because look at the men with your, in your hands, some flowers. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, we will get to that part in a minute. Exactly. Uh, so then a forest ranger shows up and turned out to be uh, Theodore. Turned out to... Oh, turned out to... No, to be named. To be named Theodore. So all the girls realized he might have been the Theodore from the spooky tale or story. Okay, good. Okay, so let's go with the phrase that I used. What is the difference, tale or story, or is it the same? What do you think, guys? Let me tell you a tale. A tale is un cuento, a story is just a story, una historia. There's, there's not Imagine, much difference. Is it imagination? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not real, a, not real, yeah. Not real, yeah, it could yeah. be fictional. It could be yeah. fictional, very good. That's true. Okay, uh, so I was using this phrase. Now it all makes sense. Repeat. Now it all makes sense. 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 Yeah. Es como que un tipo llega todos los días a tu casa a visitar a tu hermana, ahí siempre llega ahí, todos los días llega a comprar, tenés una tienda y todos los días llega a comprar a la misma hora porque sabe que esa hora está tu hermana. Y tres meses después resulta que se vuelven novios. And, ok, now it all makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, ok. Ok, He, vamos, vamos con un poco de feedback para Walter. Um, Vamos a corregir esto porque a varios de ustedes les está ocurriendo esto. Ya tienes un dominio del inglés, tienes mucho vocabulario, la mayoría, ¿ok? O los que me han escuchado hablar mucho. Súper bien. So, ¿cómo ataco esto rápido? Having your hand a bunch of flowers. Cuando lo que estás tratando de decir es, uh, he had on his hands a bunch of flowers. Hay una diferencia. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Um, more than the structure, you're talking about a third person, right? Yeah. He had on his hands a bunch of flowers. Uh, you have in your hand a bunch of flowers. La narrativa, la perspectiva de la que estás narrando tiene que ser la de la tercera persona, no tuya. Entonces, puede ocurrir. Puede ocurrir, cuidado. Entonces, ¿cómo lo corrijo? Narra, narra. Ok, no sé si les recomendé en el grupo. Eh, just a minute. Creo que sí, con su grupo fue que lo hice. Déjenme ver. No, can find it. I just can find it. Wait a minute. 
It should be there. Bueno, no sé, no, no, no se los puse, se los voy a compartir. Hay una técnica que se llama jam. Just a minute. And that's going to help you improving your fluency and your coherence. La coherencia se pierde eh, a medida que vas avanzando con tu aprendizaje. Llegas a un punto muy avanzado en el que agarras confianza, que bueno, es algo muy bueno, pero te olvidas de escucharte. Entonces, se le ocurre. Ok, so just be careful with that. Eh, luego ya les comparto un link de un video para que vean cómo funciona esa técnica. Se llama Just a Minute. Ok, uh, so continuando con la narrativa de Walter, because Look at the man in your hand with some flowers. A ver, ¿quién me reescribe esa oración tomando la perspectiva de la tercera persona? Let's see. Uh, perdón que les hable en español, eh, pero quiero al que aterricemos la coherencia súper rápido. We come to those. Let's see. Because look at the man in your hand with some flowers. Hmm. They look. Oh, ok. Entonces, yeah, ojo, ojo. Yeah. Walter nos está dando yeah. la perspectiva. ¿Qué perspectiva nos está dando la de la, de la segunda persona que son they? O sea, yeah. las chicas, las chicas yeah. de... Ahí yeah. dejémoslo, dejémoslo, Walter. Veamos si tus compañeros pueden okay. reestructurar esa oración en segunda persona. O sea, están narrando que ellas... Ok. They, they uh, look in, uh, at his hands mm. a bunch of the, flowers. The girls, teacher. Uh -huh. The girls look his hand. Las manos de quién? He had, he had, uh, his, oh, the girls look the girls hands. The hands, no, the, the, the girls look the, the, I have, I have idea teacher, but I you can't got it, you got it. My... The thing is that mo the you need to move men. this. Ajá. Uh -huh. the, the hand. The girl looks. The hand of man. The hand. Oh, oh, with uh -huh. a sunflower. Yes. Close, close. They looked. Oh, they at... saw. They yeah. saw the flowers in his hands. In the his flowers hands. In okay. His hands. So they looked at the man's hands. Okay. And. The bunch of flowers. He had. A bunch of flowers, okay. Sort of like that. He looked at the man's hand and the okay, so they looked at the man's hands and he had a bunch of flowers. Vamos a ver, Marta dice, he looked at the man's hand. So, está en tercera persona, okay. Él, pero es, era un grupo de chicas, eh. So they looked at the man's hands or the man's hand. Uh -huh. And they saw, and they saw a bunch of flowers. Mm -hmm. Ok. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué ocurrió? Estoy eh, enfocado en, en, en narrar todas las acciones de una sola vez, pero no se te olvide. Y por eso es importante llevar una dieta por tiempo gramatical. Si tú te sentís un poco perdido ahorita con la gramática, lunes, presente simple. Martes, pasado simple. Miércoles, presente continuo. Jueves, eh, futuro. Lo que ya hayas visto, y lo practicando día a día. ¿Cómo lo practicas? Ahorita te envío un... Oye, si no, no sé si lo envié. Um, esto es un, un ejemplo eh, de una dieta que puedes llevar a cabo de lunes a viernes. Eh, hacia aquí está. Ok, acá. La dieta que te voy a enviar está en presente simple, ahí está en PDF, en tu grupo de WhatsApp. ¿De qué te va a servir eso? Eh, voy a enviar todo lo que he enviado en teoría. Eh, te va a servir para que tú no perdas el hilo, porque el inglés es, si tú haces esto de positivo, negativo y pregunta, las tres básicas, todos los días agarra cinco verbos, positivo, negativo, pregunta, positivo, negativo, pregunta. ¿Ya? Cinco verbos diferentes. Y les hayas complemento, así como el ejemplo que está en ese primer PDF que dice Homework, Basic One, Simple Present. Eh, luego pasas el lunes con Simple Present, martes con 
past, present, past, simple. Y ahí vas rotando, ¿no? Los tiempos gramaticales. Eventualmente, cuando yo te diga, narrame algo, lo que vas a hacer es unir las oraciones en positivo con conectores, que es lo que, si tú te fijas en el chat de Zoom, hemos hecho. ¿Eh? They looked at the men's hands. Yeah. Es una oración. And, ahí hay un conector, he had a bunch of flowers. Las dos oraciones están en pasado unidas por un conector. ¿Tiene sentido? Yes. ¿Ya? Yes, yes, yes. Entonces, eh, ahora, esto tiene que ser, llegar a ser algo no forzado. Algo que no, si tú no. haces mecánicamente esta dieta todos los días, todos los días. Es que mira, es como ir al gimnasio. Si no vas todos los días, no estás haciendo nada. O por lo menos tres veces a la semana, pero no dejar de ir. La constancia. Eh, perdón, no, creo que Walter, eh, hay un niño yeah. hablando, sorry. Eh, si no tenés constancia en lo que haces, nunca vas a lograr nada. Con la dieta, con el gimnasio, con aprender inglés. Entonces, no estás no pues, hablando inglés con alguien todos los días, ¿verdad? Salvo Karen, creo. Eh, no estás en un entorno en el que hables inglés todos los días. Entonces, lo que no se está utilizando se arruina. ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Ok, so let's move on. Next topic. Sorry, guys. Um, sí, perdón que me entretengo hablándoles español. Créanme que a mí me encanta eso de la motivación, pero al mismo tiempo, pues, tenemos una hora nada más y quiero ser respetuoso de ese punto. So, um, vamos a hablar, or let's talk in this case, um, about the difference between past continuous and simple past. And yesterday I told you about the main difference, which makes sense, right? It makes sense when we say that the present continuous, I mean the past continuous, Look at this picture. Look at this picture. The past continuous is an action that was happening in the past. Okay. It was happening in the past. Okay. So, for example, I was taking a shower at 10.30 p.m. yesterday. Um, let me see that. No, that's past continuous. <laughs> I was taking a shower yesterday. Okay, that is a, an action in the past. There was continuation, as you can see on this picture. You see, there was continuation in the past. Um, Jancy, what were you doing last night after the class? I, I, I went to the bed. Oh, okay. That's simple past. Just an action and that's it. You just went to bed. So we finished the class and you went to bed. Yes. <laughs> really? You didn't yes. drink. You didn't I'm drink tired. water. Uh, no. Okay. I in my case, I wash in the dish, the dishes. Okay. Now there, we're missing the verb to be in past. Okay. Again? I was I was washing the dish, this this dish, uh, dishes. Dishes. It's okay. Don't, don't worry. Okay. Dishes. And don't worry, repeat with me. I was washing. I was washing. I was washing the dishes. The dishes. The dishes. The dishes. Okay. Don't worry. Wash. Wash. Washing. Washing. I was washing the dishes. Excellent. Very good. Now, this is a formula for the, um, the past continuous. And this is the same as the present continuous. The only difference is that the verb to be is in past. Okay. I am eating, I am teaching, I am working every day, I'm drinking water. Um, I, I right have now. a question. Yeah. Uh, the past continues, uh, the action starts in the past and finish at the past, or yep. maybe you continue not. <laughs> when That's when the you point. continue, it, it's a, a Past perfect, right? 
<laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Good. There you go. Okay, so let, yeah. let's look at that. That's the topic for tonight, Miguel. Very good. So I was washing the dishes and watching TV. Okay. Let's make sense to Miguel's statement right now. So I was watching the dishes and watching TV while okay. I was eating a sandwich. I have a question, teacher. Hey. When you're talking about a past continue, mm -hmm. it's like a routine in the past. No, no, no. No. No, Let, let's no. look at it this way. Yeah. Yesterday, I was washing the dishes and watching TV while I was eating a sandwich. Okay. So, uh, you all use of... the, the, the past continue. Sorry. <laughs> you use the past continue. Let me explain. Your narrative. Let me, let me explain right now. Okay. So right now, I'm teaching you while I'm sitting and watching at the camera and speaking at the same time. I'm doing all of these actions. Now, this is present continuous right now. Now, the time is gone. And now the actions that I just mentioned are in the past. Yeah. So, <laughs> It's confusing. Puede ser confuso en el inglés. Este tiempo, lo que acabo de mencionar que, está, que estoy haciendo, ya pasó. ¿Sí o no? Probably is an action that it takes uh, some time. Like yeah. 10 minutes is an action that you take that you take it. Look at this. It happened in the past. In so the past. this action happened, let's say, between nine, I'm sorry, let me see, eight, 20, where is the two? Okay, to 820 and 825. Okay. So the, the actions that I mentioned happened between 820 and 825. That's what I was doing. Okay. So what happened? Why did I stop? Oh, because the light went off. So for example, let's play something, but be creative guys, be very creative. Let's go with this um, dynamic that I like doing. Um, and it's very simple. The first student goes like, hello. Okay. Hi Miguel. What were you? doing when I called you. This is the dynamic. So you need to say something. For example, I was taking a shower. When you called me. Now looking at the grammar here. Vamos a ver la gramática super rápido. Hi Miguel, what were you doing when you called when I called you? ¿Qué estabas haciendo cuando yo te llamé? ¿Qué estabas haciendo? Cuando yo te llamé, ¿por qué? Lo que estaba haciendo se vio interrumpido por mi llamada. That's the topic right now. Una acción que estaba en transcurso en el pasado es interrumpida a ley y esto así es por una acción en el pasado simple. Yeah. ¿Ok? Ok. Se puede utilizar bastante con fotografías, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Como yo, en esta fotografía, yo estaba haciendo, por decirte, por decirle algo, carne asada. Mm -hmm. y entonces, como para and, narrativa. And then I got burned. And I got burned. <coughs> and then I got burned. Estaba haciendo carne asada y luego me quemé. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. mira el segundo ejemplo. I was taking a shower when you called me. Okay. Oops. You see, that's the point. So, call your classmate and tell him or her. Hi, Emil Carr. What were you doing when I called you? Uh, my case? Mm -hmm. um, I was cooking when you called me. Oh, I'm sorry. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, okay Emil Carr. Emil Carr, call Karen. 
Ring. Ring. Hello, Karen. How are you? Hello, Milker. I'm doing okay. I'm fine, okay. Okay. <laughs> and what were you doing when, when I called you? Um, I was working. I have a lot of work to do. And uh, um, what about you? In my case, uh, <laughs> in my case, uh, I was Y eso es lo que sufrimos los hombres toda la vida, ¿eh? ¿Qué estás haciendo? De un solo nos patean las mujeres. I was very nervous. 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 I was very nervous to call you, ok. Say bye bye, Amilcar. Bye bye. Bye. See you later. Ok, Karen, call Daniel. Ring. Daniel Jeremías. Hi, Daniel. Uh, what were you doing when I call you? I was practicing a little bit when I called you. When I called when you, you? When you called me. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were practicing? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was practicing uh, this topic yesterday. Oh. The topic that just. Okay, that's nice. So keep practicing. Bye. <laughs> Bye, good night. Bien, estamos abordando una tem un tema de la realidad. Qué incómodo es cuando alguien te llama y estás ocupado. So let's continue. Daniel, call Walter. Okay. Ring. Hello, Walter. Hi. What were you doing? Um, I was watching Amazing of Opera when you called me. <laughs> Paquita del barrio. Me. Oh, is yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Me, teacher. Yes, Daniel. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Se me acaba de caer el teléfono. Okay, be careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye, Walter. Bye. <laughs> okay, uh, continue. Walter, call Saul. Hey, uh, hey, hi, Saul. Hi. Uh, what were you doing when I called you? Um, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy. I, I, I called you. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I was. I was. I, I was, was busy. I was busy. Uh, busy. I, was, I was busy. Can I say that? I was busy. I was, I was busy. busy when you called me. When, when you, you called me. me. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I estaba ocupado cuando me iba a hacer. ¿Qué pasó? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, continue oh, the conversation. Teacher, uh -huh. teacher, in this case, when Saul uh, tell me I was busy, simple, fast, yes? Yeah. Not Excellent. A, not is. It's not. not is, is not. Continue. I was I was busy. I, Not I easy, hey, but repeat so busy. I, yeah. I, was, I was I was busy. I was busy. Busy. I working. Oh, I was busy. I was working. Yes. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Say goodbye, Saul. I mean, Bye. Walter. Bye, Walter. He hung Bye. up. <laughs> You know? Okay. Okay, so we'll continue. One more example with Roberto. Say hello to Roberto, Saul. Okay. Ring. Uh, hi, Roberto. What you were you doing when I called you? I was playing the guitar when you called me. Oh, my okay. God. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. I, I was practicing a song. Oh, oh, yeah. It's very good. Okay. Okay, okay thank you. Okay, bye soon. 
Bye. Okay, let's continue. Roberto, call, call Janet. Okay. Uh, hello, Janet. Hi, Roberto. What were you doing when I called you? Oh, I was cooking my dinner when you called me. Really? Oh, sorry. No problem. Okay, bye. so. Bye, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that was just an example. An action in the past was interrupted by an action. I'm sorry, uh, an action in the past continues. An action that was happening was interrupted by an action in the simple past. Now, this is the most common thing. This is the most common thing to happen. Now, let's look at the examples using um, these connectors, while and as. Look at the example. While he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. You know what is a revolving door, right? You know what is a revolving door? Did it yeah. Run? Yeah, that, that's the kind of doors where you can get trapped, right? In fact, that, that's the kind of looking of these doors. It's really weird. Yeah? They, they, and they swing, right? They yeah. turn around. So while he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. So what happened? It's the same thing that we were doing. An action that was happening in the past was interrupted by an action in the simple past. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at the next examples. As Jake, what is as Jake? As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and tripped. kicked it into the wrong goal. Like the como. That's like that's like um an auto goal, right? That that case ha happened with me. <laughs> it happened to you once? Yes, it was really? a time. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> and you are and you are still alive, a milker, yes. and you are still alive. It's amazing. Your friends didn't kill you. I kicked the ball <laughs> in my own. <laughs> Your own goal. Yes, in my own goals. <laughs> oh my God, that's bad. Okay, but what happened to Jake? He was running toward the ball. Oh, but then he tripped and kicked the ball into the wrong goal. So he made an out of goal, right? Okay. Hmm. Now, what we were practicing is the next sentence. This was happening. What was happening? The secretary was making a speech. And why did she stop? Why did she stop making the speech? Oh, because a, pro a protester threw an egg at her. Oh my God. Do you think she continued the speech? No, no, no. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> no, I mean, she was embarrassed, right? When a, pro a protester threw an egg at her. Okay, questions. I want you to pay close attention to one thing. These two examples, these two when, examples are narrative examples. Teacher, okay. when you say past continuous always happen interrupted by the another action. Yeah, typically, okay. typically yeah. and when an action was happening, it was interrupted later. An action was happening but something interrupted it. Um, I, I was confused because mm -hmm. when you use, for example, was or were plus adjective, not is, not is past continuous. Not is, is not, past, is is not, not but past continuous. Right. It's simple past. 
Yeah. Uh, girl, I'm sorry, I got lost there. There's too much noise on the background. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So, so let's say an action is ha what's happening between eight and and um. Let me just give you an example. I was eating between seven. 45 p.m. and 7.55 p.m. Then I remembered I had a cl an English class. I had the English class. That's that. That's an example of what I'm trying to explain to you. I was eating between 7:45 and 7:55 p.m. Then I remembered I had an the English class, so I stopped eating because I remembered I had the English class. And that's very clear. I mean, that yes. that could happen. Yes. Right? Yeah. That's that's the simplest example, but I want you to focus on one thing here the, the perspective i mean from which you are speaking right now i'm speaking on figurative way i'm making a figure when i say let's say that you do this this and that okay hablo en sentido figurado dándoles ejemplos right sentido en un sentido de narrativa aplicaría este while or as. ¿Por qué? Uh, pocas veces hablamos así. Eh, solo cuando estamos narrando una situación, narrando algo que ocurrió. While he was escaping, while, I, while the teacher was explaining, okay, while the teacher was explaining, lights went off. You see? While the teacher was explaining, lights went off. Yeah. Okay. It's normal to use, a, a, use a, a past continuous when you use while after that. And use when when simple past. Both. I mean, you can use both. Ah, okay. As they were speaking, they... Oh, okay. Power, power went off. As they were speaking, the power went off. That's just an example. As they were speaking, the power went off. But again, we continue with the idea of using a subject. All of a sudden, this action was oh, interrupted by this blue Hold event. On. Oh, God. OK, so we continue with the same idea of using subject verb to be in past okay the verb with, with ing and the complement okay okay so uh let's make some examples i need you to grab go to the to the list of verbs that i just send you okay i just send you a list of two lists of verbs to your whatsapp go to the list of verbs and try to use these examples now i want you to take this as a challenge. Um, let's just make an example. Karen, can you give me an example? Give me a verb, any verb. Uh, just the verb or the entire example? If you want, which, whichever you yesterday, prefer. Uh -huh. I can give you an example. Yesterday, I was, I was taking care of my son. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we went to bed. Okay. Following the grammar, did we're studying as okay, as I was taking care of my son. As I was taking care of my son yesterday. Um we went to bed. Hmm. As I was taking care of my son yesterday. We decided 
to go to bed. That will make more sense, right? Um, so as I was taking care of my son yesterday, we decided to go to bed. So this action interrupted the previous action that wasn't in, in develop, being developed. And that's the point of this exercise. Okay, I need another and example. The other, mm -hmm. And the other yeah, example sure. we were using past and the verb continuous and then possible. Correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Yeah. But it doesn't make sense if I say, as I was taking care of my son yesterday, we went to bed. No tendría sentido decir que mientras que estaba cuidando con a mi hijo, uh, nos fuimos a la cama, mm, nos fuimos a dormir. Can we say after that we went to bed? No. Uh, I was taking care of my son yesterday and we went to bed. And then we went to bed, yeah. Just the way you did it, that makes sense. But if we want to use as or while, that wouldn't make sense. Or when I fell asleep. And then I fall asleep. When I fall asleep, correct. Um, can somebody try it? Can you give me an example? Um, sorry. I, Go for it. I was cooking, I was cooking dinner while I had an audiobook. I was cooking dinner. Dinner. When or while, 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 while okay, while. while. I hear an, uh, I okay. hear an audio book. <laughs> this is the point. And I, well, I heard an it's audio book. <laughs> Does this make sense? <laughs> Estaba cocinando la cena mientras escuché hey, un audio book. ¿Tiene sentido? Probably we can uh, say while I was cooking the dinner, I was, I was. um listen an audio book. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. you got my point. Ese es el punto. Una acción mm -hmm. puede estar en desarrollo junto okay. con otra, o pudo estar en desarrollo I... junto con otra. Pero mm -hmm. usualmente no. una acción que estaba oh. en desarrollo en el pasado se ve interrumpida por, se vio interrumpida por uno en el pasado simple. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Ese estaba en desarrollo, me estaba bañando, enjabonándome. ¿Cuándo? Tem, cuando tembló. ¿Ok? Ya. Yeah. Por eso el uso en, esto, en esa de, de los dos past continuous. Por, ahora sí, en, ajá, sí, porque while es mientras que Entonces, no tendría sentido decir mientras que escuché un audio, right? Mientras que escuchaba un audio, correcto, ahí sí. No fue interrumpida. No fue interrumpida la acción. En este caso estaba haciendo dos acciones al mismo tiempo. Las mujeres pueden hacer hasta diez acciones al mismo tiempo. No pasa nada, right? Nosotros no, una. <laughs> ok, let's find it. Let's find sense to it. Let's find while. Let's make another example. Jancy, go. Okay. Uh, I was talking to my brother. To my brother, uh huh. When the power went out. The power went out. Okay, while I was talking to my brother, the power went out. This makes more sense. While I was talking to my brother, the power went out. Okay, as I was talking to my brother, the power went out. The power went out while I was talking with my brother. Ojo, no tiene, um, no importa el orden de eh, los factores, eh. Puedo, uh, pero si sí es. Subject. Yeah. Subject. Let's see, the power went out while I was talking to my brother. Lo mismo estoy diciendo, igual que en español. Teacher, I want to try. Yes, please, Jacqueline. Okay. Uh, I was thinking about what what will I do to breakfast before oh, for, start the, for the, breakfast the uh -huh. class. Mm -hmm. before the start the, the English class. Mm -hmm. 
started. Yes. I was thinking about what will I do for breakfast before the English class started. Yes. It's real, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. It's for real. For real, for real teacher. For real teacher. <laughs> Okay. Me, teacher. Wait, wait, wait. I was thinking about what will I do for breakfast before the English class started. I was thinking, what will I, what, what to cook for breakfast? What to cook for breakfast? What yeah, will I cook for breakfast? There are many ways of saying that, but yeah, you get the point. High school. Mm -hmm. For, there, for there, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Um, Somebody's there, speaking. I'm sorry, I'm not one. catching. No entiendo quién está hablando, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Can I try, teacher? Yes, please. Um, when uh, while I was going to the office, I realized that I forgot my case. Love it. Says I realized that I Okay. Hmm. Forgot my keys. That I forgot my keys. Well, I was going to the office. I realized that I forgot my keys. Bien. Pronto veremos el pasado perfecto y aquí donde va a tener sentido. When I realized that I had forgotten my keys. Ojo, eh, eso lo vas a ir viendo a medida que vaya viendo la narrativa. El... Perdón, Walter, I'm sorry. Um, mientras que vaya viendo el, el tiempo, los tiempos de la narrativa. While I was going to the office, I realized that I forgot my keys. Sure. Um, mientras que iba hacia la oficina, me di cuenta de que olvidé mis llaves. Ojo, mientras que iba hacia la oficina, me di cuenta de que había olvidado mis llaves. Olvidé mis llaves. Había olvidado mis llaves. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Somebody said teacher. Go ahead. Teacher. Me teacher. Amilcar. Okay. Okay. Uh, yesterday I was I was working uh, when suddenly I I bore I bore my hand. Wait, I was working. I when was working when suddenly I I I burned my my hand. I burned. Okay, my burned hand. My hand. When suddenly I burned my hand. Yeah, that could be an example too. So I because stopped working. I stopped because working I, because I burned my hand. Because I I I. I hold uh, uh, a can, a hot can. <laughs> okay, I was working when suddenly I burned my hand as I held a hot can. Okay. Mm. Okay. Me teacher. Yep, Wendy. Okay. I was buying the grocery when my husband remembered me that I had an appointment. That is okay. I was buying the grocery when my husband remembered me that I had an appointment. Yep, that way. So again, um, I was buying the groceries when my husband reminded me that I had an appointment. Why not remember me? Um, mm, acordarse de mí. Remember me. Acuérdate de mí. Recuérdame. Okay, recordarme a mí. Remember me. Remind me. Recuérdame tal cosa. Okay. It's a little bit difficult. Uh, yeah. Okay. Remind me. Yeah. 
Remember, please remember it's, me. It's like an alarm. No matter where you go, remember <laughs> me. Okay. Remind me. Remind oh, me. Please remind, remind me. me to tell uh to tell Monica about something. About okay. da, da, da. hey, uh yeah, Wendy, could you please remind me to tell Monica about the meeting? Okay. Okay, I will. Hey, do you remember me, Wendy? I, I remember you. I remember you. <laughs> I remember you. The king of the canción. Motley Crue. No. Uh, yeah, I think. Skid Row. Skid Row. Thank you, Walter. Yes, yeah, Skid Row. <laughs> I remember you. Amazing. Okay. Any other questions? Give me more examples. We're only missing five. Minutes. I'll try yes. I'll try yes. Okay. Try, teacher. Uh, I was walking around my neighborhood mm -hmm. when a big doe approach approach and bite and bite me. Wait, bite, bit, bit, bite me. Bite. I think I can't remember the past of bit bite bit. No change, I think. There's no change, yeah. right? Yeah. Let's go to reverso that net. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It is okay. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that's a good example. Something happened. There is a nice uh, kind of dictionary that could help you as well. I'm just sending you the link right now. If you want to conjugate a verb in all possible tenses, you just put the verb there. And it will translate. So present by, yeah, I knew it. When a dog approached and bit me, bit me. Past continuous, future continuous, present, past perfect, really. There it is, bitten me. Huh. It's a participle, okay. Yeah, some verbs are very irregular, guys. Be careful with that. So, yeah, but... Teacher, I have a other example. Yes, please, Jacqueline. I was learning to drive mm -hmm. when suddenly I crashed. <laughs> this example is not for you, teacher. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I can write it. <laughs> you can or you can't. I can't. Oh, uh, you cannot drive. Yes. Really? Teacher. Come on. Well, I was learning yeah. to drive. Okay, you could also say, while well, I was learning to drive, I crashed. Okay. I crashed against um the tree. Or uh pole. <laughs> I crashed again. It's a possible success in my life, teacher. Sure. Is it, it is a possible success in my success? Wait, it's a possible success. Wait a minute. Successo? No, no, no. Successo. Successo. Hmm. The possible situation in my life. This a possible, possible situation, situation in, my in my life. Okay, we're, let's finish with Joaquin. Yes, I have an example. Okay. While we was while we were listening your English class, when suddenly internet went out. You cannot use while and when. Why? While we were listening to your. English class, mm -hmm. the internet, the internet went, went off, went off or went out. Oh. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Good. Just you cannot just win. Uh, while we were listening to your English class here, you couldn't say when the internet. No, the internet went off. This is what happened. Okay. This is what happened while this was happening. Esto fue lo que pasó mientras que esto ocurría. Right? Yes. yes. Okay. Good, guys. Continue practicing. Make more examples. You may send them on the WhatsApp if you want. So we can all get empapated <laughs> by this topic. Okay. Let's practice that. I'll see you tomorrow. Check your WhatsApp you because tomorrow. I'll be I'll be sending you some topics, okay? Okay, bye. So you can bye. practice. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.